ourselves a Y and a roller right here. You can see as we go the size of the inside of the telescope. You go ahead and put the thing in. And then all we do, have to do is just dump the paint down inside in the empty space and it'll drool itself right on down through there. And just chase it on down. Now we're almost completely to the other end by the time we do that. Make a loop all the way down through. Make sure that you let it back itself out so we don't leave any dead spots. And that's all there is to paint inside that telescope. It's starting to slide off. You know what? Uh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to uh, take a yeah, picture? Mm -hmm. Let me get it started for you. Sure. All right, now. Are you back there? Oh, cool. Wait, how do you spin it? Just like Just, that? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's straight with the shaft. Oh, come on. So you got the two on? There you go. Turn it on down. Okay, now you've got, you've got to hold this right in the center. Center, yep. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. And back it back up. Keep it rotating at all times. Do people need to paint tubes a lot? Wait. If you need to paint tubes a lot, this should just be... Well, the only time I ever know anybody needs to paint a tube is if they're building a telescope. <laughs> Once we finish painting the inside of the tube, we also paint the outside of the tube. You can see, you know, we just use latex paint on the outside, several of these. So you can see this one's actually finished now. We can take this one here, these larger ones are for a 10 inch mirror. We've actually cut the spot for the uh, uh, focuser. And we've also got on the inside, you can see that we've put a spider down on the inside. These are made, we just made them down in the school shop as well. Now, as far as finishing off the tube, once we get done, in order to suspend them, you can see that we've got a bearing system that we use on uh, to swivel them on our base. We just went down to the hardware store, picked up a couple of four inch caps for PVC. Uh, the unique thing is how we've actually supported them. On the inside, there's a piece of wood that uh, we tooled out. Okay, let's see if you can see that. Right along the right hand side, down inside that tube, you can actually see a piece of wood right in the shadow there. Um, we've, it's an inch thick. We've curved it to the inside of the telescope uh, tube size so that it'll support, so that when we bolt it to it, it actually suspends on it. You can see my primary mirror in the bottom. You can see my secondary mirror in its spider right there on the left hand side. Mounted the focuser on top of it and a tail rad. So we're completely finished with this one now. We've actually used this one. I tend to put uh, another interesting thing that I do on the ends of these tubes to make them look a little nicer. You can see I've got uh, I just went down got some vacuum line from the local automotive dealer from the CarQuest dealer actually. I picked it up, split it down the center and then I've, I've run it all the way around so that you can, it gives a nice finished edge on it. Then when I get through with my telescopes to store them, I go ahead and I place a cap over the top of them so that uh, it protects them from the dust on the inside and the outside. You can see the cap that I have on the base of this one. I put them on the base and on the top so they don't get dust in them. And there we have it, completely the, the finished tube that mounts at the cell. We've already gone through the cell construction and the base construction. You can see I also have my handle on top of there that I've mounted a similar way. I put uh, some washers through it and it came up from the bottom so that it can be supported. I've got a handle on the base as well so that we can carry the two of them together. And we finished our telescope project after the tube's completed.